Michelle here, my crazy workout. I know it looks like I have a lot of stuff out today. I do have a lot of stuff out, but it's just for different variations. I was playing at the gym the other day and was using the TRX straps, and I haven't used my straps in a while. So I thought I'd incorporate in the straps. I'll show you, you can do it with the dumbbell, you can do it with um, bands, tubes, or if you have the straps, I know some people have the straps, and I don't do it very often because a lot of people don't. So we are gonna do a circuit workout today. Uh, it is gonna be 45 seconds of a strength move, five second break, and then a minute and 30 of the cardio strength move, like the lower body move, uh, one of my combo moves. And we are gonna go through it three times. Then you're going to, before we move on to the next circuit, you've got a Tabata style, and it's a cardio move, and it's gonna be five and 30 for six rounds, and that will lead us into the next circuit. So um, I have a lot of stuff out. Uh, these are just options, so as I go through it, I'll do one round with one type of um, equipment. I'll do another round without, if you don't have any equipment, you can just grab some cans from your pantry or, um, you know, do it with, if the tubes don't cost that much money, if you've got tubes, the tubes work well too. So I will give you the different variations. We are going to do a warm up, real quick warm up. I'm going to set my timer. We're going to march it out. I will have a bonus like section at the end Time. And, and then we'll do a nice cool down and stretch pressing arms overhead now if you need more of a warm-up you can always pause the video before we get to the circuits and you can jump rope for five minutes if you need to I carried all this out moved everything around I have to carry it all back in so I'm pretty warm plus it's warm here today but that doesn't mean that we can't get uh, the, the blood pump into all the muscles. Four, three, two, march it wide. Sorry, I was going to take it into a toe tap. I don't want to do a toe tap yet. I want to do a knee lift next. Um, I have the ball out as well. I'm going to do some uh, side slams. If you don't have a ball that bounces and you can do that, knee lifts here. You can um, just use the weight, and I'll show you when we get to it. So pull the arms down. I don't know what's going on this morning. This helicopter keeps flying over, messing with my video. I don't know if it's a traffic helicopter or if it's a police helicopter. I'm not sure. So bear with me. Four, three, two, now heels back. We're going to open up that chest. Four, three, two. We're going to do heel taps to the front. Pull the arms, press them down. You don't have to do my warm-up. You can do your own warm-up. It doesn't matter. You might do my workout after you've done something else, maybe a morning yoga flow or something, and you go right into the workout. Four, three, two. We're going to toe tap to the side right here. Tap it out. Opposite elbow to the knee. And we're going to plant those feet side to side. Four, three, two, and one. Hold it over here on the right. Hold it here. Turn that toe up. Stretch out that inner thigh. Feel that in the quadricep. Come to the left side to a lunge, runner's lunge. Drop the knee, pelvic tilt. Stretch out the hip flexor. Slide that right foot in, left foot comes up, flex the foot, calf stretch, then press the toe down. Get the front of the leg, the soleus. Again, calf, and press it down. 
Turn to the front, turn the toes out. Squat down and up, down and up. We're gonna do the other side. Wake up that glute, four, three, two, and one. Hold it here. You're gonna stay on the left side, turn that right toe up, stretch out that inner thigh, press over to the right, turn that toe, stay up, runner's lunge, pelvic tilt forward, stretch out that left hip flexor, slide that left foot in, kick that right foot up, calf stretch, engage the core, hold that stomach in, and press down. We're gonna do that one more time, raise up, and then press down. Turn it to the front, toes are out. Squat one more time, give me 10, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, all right. The circuit is gonna be uh, wide rows. We're gonna do the dumbbells first. So as soon as I hit the timer, it's gonna go. I'm gonna do the dumbbells, then the straps. So it's wide, or close and wide. Now, squeeze that back. Don't just pull up that weight with the arms. Concentrate when you get up there on squeezing the muscles in the middle of the back, the rhomboids, and using the lats to pull up as well. I think that says eight. Eight seconds. Oh. Okay, you've got a reverse bench lunge or to the floor, plant the hands to a one-legged push-up. So you're gonna go lunge, plant, come up, and squat. Lunge, plant the leg down, and squat out. Lunge, plant the leg, now, I have band on there as optional, and I have bicep curls in here as optional. So, if you wanna grab some weights, you can do a curl when you do the lunge and the, and the squat. go to the floor. You can do the bench. Keep your head forward. Pull it out of the turtle shell. Engage the core. You can use the band with this one too. <sighs> okay, bench. If you don't have a bench, it's okay. You kneel down, down, up, side leg lift. 
Band is optional here. Bench is optional. I'm gonna kick this out a little bit so I'm not catching the mat. Down. Squeeze and lift. You don't need a bench. Kneel down. two more of those. So, towel off, grab a drink if you need to. I'm going to move the bench and I'm going to show you the push-up move on the floor. So if you don't have a bench or a box, it's okay. So as soon as I hit this, I'm going to start with the TRX straps and you're going to roll close and wide. So you're going to go close and wide. Now, the more parallel you are with the floor, the harder it is. The more you walk your feet out, the easier it becomes. So that's the nice thing. You get one step closer to being able to do a pull up. As long as you're not just pulling with the arms, you have to engage the back. Gonna grab the weights. If you don't have a bench, you would go right lunge, push up, and a squat. Right lunge, one legged push up. Now, if the one legged push up is too much, you can take it straight back and a push up. Just pull forward with that leg, all right? The side that you're on is the leg you'd pull forward, or the opposite leg, so, no, the leg you'd pull forward, my bad. I messed it, I messed it up talking. Okay, lunge. Squat, there we go. Lunge. Plant the right, or the left leg. Squat out with the right. on the floor.
more seconds. Woo. Now, if you want, you can put a band on for these kneeling moves, but you don't need to. And if you don't have a bench, it looks like this. Right, left, right, side leg lift. Left, right, left, side leg lift. fast on these. It's about engaging the core, working the legs, squeezing those muscles. It's not speed. You can add a weight and you can hold a weight in your hand to make it harder. But you don't need it. seconds. Oh, five second timer. Okay. Now, if you don't have straps and you don't have dumbbells and all you have is a tube, say you have a tube, whether it is a complete looped tube, not this one, you'd have to have a bigger one, or, um, handle tube. Handle tube. You'll step on the handle, cross the hands if you need to, and you're gonna row. So we're gonna do it, I'm gonna do it with the tube. You do whatever you have. If you have dumbbells, if you have the straps, whatever you have, you do it with that. I'm gonna show you with the tubes. Row up and then wide. Keep your chin lifted, keep your back flat, neutral spine with your head and your neck, with your back. So you don't wanna be looking over and pulling up like this. Find a spot, bend the knees, close and wide, close and wide. Two more seconds. Woo! Okay. Now, if you want the weight and the box, it looks like this. Lunge back, plant the dumbbells, in, and a squat. So it's a lunge. If you're a beginner, and the push-ups become too much. Plant the knee. Woo. Lunge. Plant the knee. Push-up. Pull in. Lunge. Climbers.
You know what? I'm gonna put it high. like this. There we go. Kneel down and up. Kneel down. Side leg lift. Down. Plant and a lift. Can you feel it? You don't have to go fast through these. Control that muscle. As you come down, it's like doing a one-legged squat and a reverse lunge. Kneel down. And up. Down. Kneel down. Band makes it harder. This hurts your knees. Put a pad down behind. Or don't go to a kneeling position. Go squat, squat, up, and lift. Okay? Woo! All right. That was three rounds. We're not done. We still have a part in this circuit. It is our Tabata. I am gonna lay the tube out, or the uh, blanket out for this one. I'm gonna show you the first round with the sliders, if you have sliders. If you don't have sliders, then you're gonna do what I do for the second and third round. Lead in, right leg is first. You're gonna slide it under and come back overhead up and out and this isn't working my my blanket is already wet and my slider isn't working on it so if you don't have sliders which I wasn't sure that this was going to work for me then we're going to do plant the right hand now you plant the left you're gonna pull the left leg through, and then you're gonna come back. You can take it up into a, a, a um, Superman lift, but if you're wobbly, focus on just the arm. Pulling forward and trying to reach the wall or whatever's in front of you, all right? You're not tucking under. You want to engage the core. All right, if you have a band, I should have had this ready. Sorry, keep going. switch feet. And hands.
switching feet. If you don't want to use the band, you don't have to. up. Okay, we're going to do a bicep curl and then I'm going to stack the two benches. We're going to do a front lunge to a reverse lunge. So it's a front lunge with the right leg, a reverse lunge with the left leg. If you need to preview it, preview it before we, before you do it. Again, we're going through this three times. If you don't have the TRX strap, you can use dumbbells, kettlebells, uh, the easy curl bar, the band. I'll show you with each one. Now remember, the more parallel down you go, the harder it is. The more you walk in, whoops, I forgot. We no lead in on these. So, to a shoulder tap.
we have to do the left leg front lunge and the right back. Tricep overhead extension and a side raise. You know what to do with the tube, right? You step on both sides, you have it in handles in your hand. Say you have a band. Long, long band. Okay. You need to step on it and tighten it up as much as you need to. So maybe you're only wrapped around one toe. Maybe you're wrapped around two toes. Maybe you're stepping closer in. You're gonna grab that band, keep the elbows at the sides. Maybe you're grabbing in closer on the band. Your arms do not pull away from the body to bring the weight up. Lock them in at the sides. Maybe you have your band attached to a wall and you, like the straps there and you're pulling in so your arms are parallel with the floor and you're bending at the elbows. I, I like the bands and the tubes because you can go with them anywhere and do anything with them. Okay, you know what's next? We've got that bicep curl with the shoulder press. So it's a right front lunge. Lunge up, curl. Up, curl, up, and curl, up. Right leg front lunge, left leg reverse lunge. Eighteen more seconds.
foot sliding. <laughs> Woo. Okay, right, or, uh, left leg lunge, right leg reverse lunge. So you're gonna go front lunge, reverse lunge. seconds. So bicep curls are first. You choose your poison. feet in them and do the elbow planks with your feet in the straps. Okay, no bench, looks like this. Front lunge, reverse lunge. Front lunge, reverse. Front lunge, reverse. Front Okay, front. the straps. If you're strong, if your core is strong, go ahead. It'll take me too long to adjust them too. Don't look under the body. Look out at the hands, past the hands, neutral spine. Okay. 
If you have no bench, left leg lunges this time. Left, and a reverse right. Left, and a reverse right. Tricep extension, side raise. Tricep extension, side raise. Tricep extension, side raise. I'm gonna to turn to the bench. I need my weights. Tricep extension, side raise. Tricep extension, side raise. seconds. Oh. Wow. Okay. Too short. All right, we have the Tabata move. Now, Tabata doesn't always mean cardio, like you saw we did abs. Well, it is cardio because you're moving through it with a very limited break. So, this one is a little more cardio. There's some jumping in this one. Two, you're gonna do a pulse lunge back two times with the right leg. And then you're gonna do a jump switch lunge and a kick out. And then you're gonna repeat on the left leg, okay? And we're doing 30 seconds of this. So, five second countdown. Oh, everything's sticking to me. Pulse back, jump switch, kick. Kick. Sorry about that. We've got four of those rounds. Right, jump switch, kick. Side raise, front raise, and then a wide fly. Front raise, 
wide fly. And we'll start with the tube and show you the tube. If you have the straps, that's what you do. And we're gonna start. So, raise up and keep the arms out. And then you pull down. Raise up, pull in. Raise up, keep them pulled tight and pull in and squeeze the back. Raise up, pull in. Raise up, pull in. Raise up, pull in. Raise and squeeze, pull. Squeeze the middle of the back. Looks like this. Raise up, squeeze them tight and pull. All right, Olivia's move. Right leg close to the bench. Down, down, up. Cross knee, up, out. Crisscross jack. Down, up knee. Crisscross jack. Down, knee up. Out, crisscross jack. Step in. Right, left. Step up, down, crisscross. Up, cross knee, crisscross jack. Whoo! Feel them. Knee lift up down 30 seconds up and over. Curl. Oh. Bicep curl. Circle overhead. if I can step out of the sunlight. It's shining in my eyes. <sighs> Woo. Okay, now we have to do the left side. And guess what? You can still do this if you don't have a box. You would go down, down, up, and then you'd step, knee, down, and a crisscross jack. Step in. Down, down, up, and you'd step, knee, down, crisscross jack. Down and up, knee up, down, and a crisscross jack. I am not doing the weight. I can feel it in my quads big time without the weight. If you want the weight, you go right ahead. Knee up, down, and a crisscross jack. Left knee down, step right up, down, and a crisscross jack. Kneel down, up knee, down,
All right. Okay. We have to do that again. I'm going to do the straps. And let's go. So it's wide out and a fly. Front raise and a fly. Front raise. Front raise. Front raise. Oh, right leg, you ready? Kneel down, inside leg, step up outside leg. Knee lift, down, crisscross jack, and step in. Right left. Step up left, knee lift, crisscross jack, step in, down, step up, step out, and step in. Right left. Right, step up left, down, 40 seconds. Right, left, step up, down, and step in. if you have them. If you don't, tube. I told you tubes are very versatile. I really like them. You can hook them to stuff and use them for lunges. Squat, upper body. Oh, feel them? I'm with Anna. I feel them more with the tubes than I do with the dumbbells because you've got resistance the entire time. Down, down. Up, step knee, crisscross jack. Left, right, left, up knee. Left, right. Step me. Now step in. Left, right. Twenty nine seconds. Oh, I 
was slow getting up on that one. Whew. We have one more round of these. Okay, if you have one of these bands that's really long, you can do the shoulders with it as well. You're gonna stand on the band, front raise, and then out. Front raise it up and pull it back. Front raise, front raise, Front raise up, pull down. Front raise up, fly. Ah. Front raise up, fly. Oh, I could have done these with a smaller band. Holy crow. You ready? Last time through with the box. If your box is lower, that's okay. Use whatever height you feel comfortable with. If you don't feel comfortable with a box, do it to the floor. If you don't have a box, do it to the floor. Down, down, up, step, knee, down, and a crisscross jack. Do it again. Down, step up with this one. Down, right, left. Right, step up left. Thirty seconds. Take breaks when you need to. Oh. Band, tube, or dumbbells. Oh, I need the lighter one. the left leg. Down, down. Step up, right leg. Crisscross. Down, down. Twenty-seven seconds. My legs 
eggs or toast. camera shut off on me for some reason so we missed two rounds of the kick-ass burpees and the one side of the floor work so I'm gonna have to do it again <laughs> so we're gonna start on the left side right legs out Thirty seconds, no rest. Gonna start with the outer thigh first. So you're gonna roll in so that your hips are stacked. You're not rolling back, you don't want the quad. Thirty seconds, no rest. Ugh, my shirt's soaked, it's sticking to me. Raise up, lead with the heel. I did this once already, but Something happened to my camera and it stopped recording. Pull in, lift up. In, lift up. This leg is tired. I did it once. <laughs> OK. 
Okay, hold it out here. You're gonna circle it around clockwise. already my camera stopped Whew. circle it the opposite way Tap the heel to the front, toe to the back. Heel, toe. Lead with the heel. If you need to come up so that you roll into that inner thigh, so that you're feeling it in the inner thigh, you will feel it in the hip back here because we worked it so hard. I feel it in the hip. Pull in. Show. And you're going to tap the knee the foot. Knee to the floor. Kick out. Single leg lifts.
hold it here. Circle it around. Clockwise is first. Feel it in the hip. Clockwise. Should hurt right here. You feel it? Hip and outer thigh. Heel down, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe. We're going to have to do some serious hip openers for our cool down. Pull in and up. In and up. Together, clamshell. Five more. Then we're going to tap the knee behind the right leg, and then pull the foot to the knee. Balance on that hip if you can. This is a long one. So, come on down onto your back. Pull the knees into the chest. Release those hips. Pull the knees wide away from the chest or to the sides of the chest. Circle those feet around. We're gonna start on our backs. Circle in the opposite way. Now I want you to grab a hold of the feet. Inside, right at the arches. Happy baby pose. Let's release those hips a little bit. that right 
right leg over the left, pulling on those feet. Ah, oh, stretch out those hips. Pull those knees into the chest. You should really feel it in the right side the most right now. When we cross and put the left leg on top, then you'll feel it in the left side. So I cross those feet and cross the left leg over the top of the right and pull in, feel that stretch in that left hip. Release it. Grab a hold of those legs. Roll up. Roll over onto the stomach. Hands and knees, actually. Take the knees wide. Press the butt back into a child's pose. Stretch out those hips. Come on up forward, bring the knees in, walk the hands out, lower the head and the chest down to the floor, puppy pose, stretch out the tops of the shoulders and the back. Walk the hands back in. Hands and knees, cat and cow. Inhale, cat, stretch out. Exhale, round the back, chin to the chest. Inhale, pull the head and the neck out. Stretch out the abdominals. Exhale. Raise the right arm up. Tuck it under. Bring the left hand back, pull the right arm through, raise the left arm up, tuck it under, lay down, reach the right arm out. Right hand back in, pull the left hand through, come up onto the toes, press back into downward facing dog. Keep the knees bent, stretch out the glutes and the hips, engage the core. You're going to keep the left leg on the floor, you're going to cross the right leg behind the left and stretch out that calf. Raise the right leg up, pull it through, drop the left knee, runner's lunge, come on up, raise the arms over the head. Leave the left arm up, reach the right arm down to the side. Now, what you want to do with this is you don't want to lean over and crunch. You want to reach up out of the waist on the left side. Bring the right arm back up. Bring the hands down. Press back. Flex that foot and slide it out. Hamstring stretch. Release it. And bring that body forward with that foot. Now what I want you to do is I want you to put your hands in this in, in beside the leg, pull the leg back. We're going to continue to work on the right leg. I'm going to turn and face you. Right leg. Your other right. Okay. 
I always do side angle pose, and I always do it standing, but there's beginners that don't know the poses. So this is a kneeling side angle pose. If you're advanced and you want to do the advanced version, you go ahead. You'll, you'll really appreciate this and feel it though if you give it a whirl. So bring the right leg out, point the toe out to the side, and in a side angle pose, we go and we lunge out, and then we lower our hand down to the floor, or you can keep it at the knee, and the other hand, I want you to take up over the chest. I don't want you to reach over this way because what you do is you collapse and you fold in. I want you to open up and stretch out the chest and the back and feel that pull through the waist. So you can take the arms slightly over. it. Come on up. Bring the arm up. Come back around. Press back into the down dog. Raise your right leg up. Open up that hip. Straighten it, pull it through for pigeon. I told you we were stretching out those hips. Now, you want to balance on the quadricep of the left leg and you want to stay up. If you're folding over like this, you're not gonna get as good of a stretch and open up those hips. So stay on that quad and then we're going to twist our pigeon. So we're going to take the left hand under and reach over to the right. And you should feel a nice stretch in the hip and in the uh, groin and the inner thigh of that right leg. Bring the right hand back in. Pull the left arm through. We're not done with this right leg. So I want you to come up onto the toe of the left foot. Pull the right leg back. Bring that left foot back around. And you're gonna kneel. And you're gonna bring that right foot out again. This is a gate pose or a, um, uh, yeah, why am I drawing a blank? Um, triangle pose. So, yeah, bring the leg out, reach the arm up. If you want to, you can take it out. If you want to bind, you can reach it behind and you can lower down as long as you're not collapsing in. You want to open up the chest and the shoulders. Bring the hand back up. Come on back up. Stay right here. Turn the foot to the front and lower down into a child's pose and stretch out that inner thigh. Back up onto the knee. Keep that right leg back. Turn and come back into a downward facing dog. Right leg is going to stay planted. Left leg is going to go back. Stretch out the calf on the left leg. Raise that left leg up. 
pull it through, plant the left foot, drop the right foot down. Bring the arms up, right arm stays up, left arm goes down, reach, twist, twist out the side, or stretch out the side. Stay up though, feel that pull through the obliques, through the side. Release it, bring the arms down, press the legs back, press the foot out, hamstring stretch. Walk the hands back in and the foot back. Pull back into a downward facing dog. Raise that left leg up, open up that hip. Straighten it out, pull it forward, and I'm gonna turn to face you. Left leg is gonna go out, and we're gonna do Side angle pose first. So come into the position. If you want, you can keep your hand on your leg or you can lower it to the floor and raise that arm up. Again, I don't want you coming over and rounding down and hunching in. I want you to open up the back and the shoulders and feel that stretch. If you wanna be here, that's fine if you have a block and you want to put your hand on a block. And come on up. Turn again. Plant that right foot. Pull that left foot back. Downward facing dog. Raise that left leg up, open up that hip, straighten it, pull it through to pigeon. Stay on that quadricep of the right leg and stretch out that hip and then tuck that arm under, twist that pigeon. Feel that stretch in the hip. Plant the left hand, pull the right arm back out. Come on up onto that right toe. Let's bring that left leg out and we're gonna turn into your gate pose or your triangle pose. You're going to take the hand to the floor either behind or in front and raise up. back up, turn that foot, lower down into a child's pose, stretch out the inner thigh on that left leg. I can get further on this one, my range of motion in my left knee isn't there yet, so I can't go as low. If you can't go as low, it's okay. As long as you're feeling that stretch and pushing that butt back, you might be here but you wanna feel that stretch through the inner thigh and all the way down into the side of the calf. Walk the hands back in, come up onto the knee, turn. Bring that left leg back, up into a downward facing dog, knees are bent, Press the butt back, 
Now straighten the legs. Pull forward into a plank. Drop the knees. We're going to go down. Two, three. Just hover right here a minute. Now, lower all the way down and come up into a cobra pose. Really small. You're not up here. This is an upward facing dog. We're right here at cobra. Pull those chests, pull the chest out, pull the shoulders back, lower it down. Let's go one more time. Raise up and down. Lower it all the way down. Take that right arm out. Roll over onto that right side. Bring that left leg behind the right. Stretch out the shoulder and the chest on the right side. Bring it back around. Bring that left arm out. Roll over onto that, so onto the left side so that the right leg is behind the left. Put the hand on the floor, press into it, and stretch out the chest and the shoulder on the left side. Release it, roll it back over, come up onto the hands and knees. Press into a downward facing dog. Walk the hands back. I'm going to turn and face you. Feet are hip width apart, knees are bent. Clasp the hands. Bring the right hand down, reach up with the left and stretch out the side. Feel that stretch through the shoulder and the chest and the back. Bring it back down, clasp the other way. Bring that left hand down, right hand goes up. Bring it down. Take those feet wide, toes are out. Come into a malasana squat. Press the elbows into the knees and stretch out those inner thighs. You should feel this in the hips and the inner thighs. You go to where you feel comfortable. If you can't go this low or you need a block or a ball or something to stick under you, that's all right, you'll get there. Take the hands behind you and sit down. One more stretch for the inner thighs. Pull the heels in. Use the elbows to press the inner thighs down, or the, the thighs down into the floor to stretch the inner thighs. And release it. Bring the legs out in front. Wiggle those legs. Deep breath, inhale. Exhale, come forward with the hands. Flat back, head and neck are neutral with the spine. They're in a straight line. Now we're gonna roll that head down, stretch out that lower back, feel that pull through the hamstrings. Wow. 
walk those hands in. Walk it down, lay down onto the back. You're gonna take that right leg over the left and lower it down to the left side. Press that knee out and feel that stretch in the inner thigh or the outer thigh and the hip on that right side. Keep the right leg where it is. Bring the left leg up and fold that right leg over that left. Continue to stretch. Feel that stretch through the right side. Uncross that right leg, put the left leg on top, pull it down just a little bit more, feel that stretch in the hip, all the way into the piriformis and the sciatic on that right side. Release that left leg, bring the right leg and the left leg up. Windshield wiper those legs and stretch out that hip. You should feel a difference in that right side. Now you're going to cross that left leg over the right. Roll down to the right side. Pull that heel in and let that knee fall out. Stretch out that hip and thigh on that left side. Lift that right leg up and cross that right left leg over. Fold it over to the right side and feel that stretch in the hip. Try and keep that left shoulder on the floor. And then you're gonna reverse the clasp of the leg. So uncross the left leg. Put the right leg on top and pull down. Feel that stretch through the hip, the piriformis, and the sciatica. Release that right leg, bring the right and the left leg back up. Windshield wiper those legs one more time and stretch out that back. Hold it here. Pull the knees into the chest. Grab a hold of the legs and roll up. Come up onto the hands and the feet. Bend forward. Feel that stretch in the back, bend the knees, press the butt back, feel that stretch, deep breath, flat back, inhale, and exhale, again, inhale and raise up, and exhale, inhale, raise all the way up, arms over the head, and exhale, mountain pose. That was your workout for the day. If you enjoyed it, please thumbs up it. Don't forget, subscribe to my channel and share it with some friends. Have a great day, I'll see you soon.